G. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so excited that you are here. Thank you for clicking on the video. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you with my CVS haul. Super duper excited to share this one with you. There's a ton going on this week at CVS. My God, there always is a ton going on. I feel like I got a hair. Uh, I kind of wish there wasn't because this is a beauty event. <laughs> At Walgreens. Sleepy dog. There he is, Gus. Sleepy dog. I've been out oh, for hours. For hours shopping. Because you know, I try to get like most of my CVS shopping done on one day because we're doing the newbie series right now. It's a lot. It's a lot working with three dang cards at CVS. I definitely do not recommend it. And I will not be keeping up with that third card once we are done with the newbie series. OMG, it's just too much. <laughs> I got some great stuff today. I absolutely did not have a moneymaker haul today. And I could have because there's so many deals going on. But I thought, I've talked about this before. I get bored buying the same old thing every single time. And especially if it's not something I need, I got to switch it up to keep myself excited. And we got some new stuff today and I'm so excited, so dang excited to share this haul with you. I planned on probably losing about $20 in extra bucks. I know that's crazy, but I was like, these are things that I really, really want and it's not my money so why not and i'll do other deals that will gain me back the money that the extra bucks that i lost this week so i was like forget it jody you're not doing anything that you don't want to do that you've done 50 million times before that you don't really need like i didn't pick up any colgate i totally could have made some dang money on colgate but i didn't do it so it's totally fine if you do, and I probably will do a little bit of that on my other card that I use, but for this card, my main card, I really wanted to pick up some cool things that I was excited to pick up. So before we get into the haul, I have to give you this quick update. Oh my gosh. Nowadays, 515, which by the way, both of the winners that I drew that had used my referral link for Fetch and had used my referral link for Swag Bucks. Both claimed their prize. I'm so excited. So I will be mailing out those gift cards this week. One of them chose a CVS gift card, which I purchased today when I was at CVS. Thank goodness I remembered. Because <laughs> last time I kept forgetting. And then um, I have to go grab a Walmart gift card and a totally perfect timing. Nowadays, 515 sent me an email just a little while ago. Thank you so, so much. By the way, I wish I knew your name. And for any y'all that show all kinds of love and support in the comments, I so appreciate you. If your YouTube name is not your name, would you please let me know what your name is? Because it's really, really important to me that I use your name. I don't know why. I've just always been like that. Names are super duper important to me. I try to always spell somebody's name correctly because that's important. And I just appreciate you guys so much. And I want you to know how much I appreciate you. And I feel like when you use somebody's name, it just makes them feel special and you are special. So if you do ever comment, I love you. Thank you so much. But if your YouTube username is not your name, would you just please let me know your name? Cause I just like to use your name. So nowadays, 515, what is your name? <laughs> I know I'm crazy. But nowadays, 515 sent me an email. I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen. OMG. Like totally perfect timing, like I said, because I have to run to Walmart anyways. Remember the car gift packages? Oh my gosh. They upped the rebate on swag bucks, you guys. Holy crap. So these car packages are $19.88. When you buy one, I think swag bucks is giving you $8. When you buy two, they are now giving you back $35. I feel like we got a great deal when we bought them before. Now it's even going to be a better deal. You're going to pay like $39.76 out of pocket for these. I'm going to cash out to a rebate app, so I'm not actually paying any cash out of pocket. 
and I'm gonna get two of those huge gift packs that I can use as gifts and get $35 back, I'm only gonna pay less than $5 for both of them, OMG. So nowadays, 515, thank you so, so much for emailing that to me. I so appreciate it and I definitely wanted to pass it along to you guys. If you're not using Swagbucks, oh my gosh, like it's, I don't even know if I would say top three or top one. <laughs> That's how much I am in love with Swagbucks. The rebates are much less. It's not as busy of a rebate app as Ibotta, but the rebates are big rebates. And I've gotten quite a few big money makers from Swagbucks. So my referral link will be in the description box if you do want to use it and sign up for Swagbucks. It's freaking awesome. All right, let's get into this CVS haul. I'm so, so excited to share all of the goodness that I got today. And I don't care that I lost extra bucks because I got some great things and I paid zero cash out of pocket because I already cashed out to a gift card from Swagbucks. Excuse me. <coughs> got a tickle in my throat because I'm talking too much for $50. So that's covering all my tax and any subtotals that I have. So I paid zero cash out of pocket, lost a few extra bucks, totally fine. Let's take a look at everything I got. And there's one more sneak peek for you of the sleepy dog. Let's go look at this haul. All right, here we go. Look at all this good stuff I got. You are looking at $220.82 worth of product here, OMG. I didn't pay one penny out of my own pocket because like I said, I used my Swagbucks gift card to cover my tax and any subtotals I had, which my subtotals were very, very minimal this week. Absolutely no snags. Well, there was one teeny little one. I'll tell you about that. Um, but everything just absolutely went as planned. I didn't even make a dang mistake. OMG, I can't believe it. And I got some good stuff. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. All right, let's break down each deal like I normally do. And then we will go over the receipts. So nothing new over here. We picked up the Schick deal. It is on promotion. Spend 15, earn a $5 extra buck. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. They fixed that CRT that was giving everybody all kinds of trouble before. I mean, we figured out how to work around it. But that four up two skin to mint, it attaches to all of them now. The problem is the digital coupon they gave us for six up a two, it only attaches to the dang vanilla. <laughs> so still an issue with that. So I went ahead and picked up those two skin to mints since I knew my four off two was attaching to them. And then a chic intuition. Not super excited to pick up the skin to mints. I have a ton of them, but they're great razors. But I was excited. I think I only have one or two of those in my stockpile. So super excited about that. So those three totaled me $20.99. I used the six off of two paper coupon, a $4 off paper coupon for the Chic Intuition. I used my four off two Skintimate disposables and a $5 off 20 shave needs. I was left to pay $1.99 for those and I got back a $5 extra buck. So final cost is free for all three of those razors plus a $3.01 moneymaker. I did pick up some moneymakers today to help lessen the loss of extra bucks that I was gonna take. All right, I had to do this laundry because I really like Purcell and when it's on sale, if we can get it at a good deal and it's on promotion, like I love to pick it up. So I had um, a different CRT than I've ever had before. I got a $2 off of eight gain fling CRT. So the deal is spend 20, earn a $5 extra buck. There's several products included. I picked up two of the gain so I could use that two off eight, one of the Tide Pods back there, and then two of the Persil. And my total was $26.70. The reason that I got it way above $20 was because not only did I have a two off eight gain flings, I also had a three off 15 laundry. So in order to be able to use two threshold coupons, I have to spend at least $23. 
I have to spend at least eight in gain and then 15 with the rest. So those ended up costing $26.70. I used two paper coupons that just came out in our inserts for Persil. Yes, I do know those coupons say they are a limit of one. My store does allow a limit of four like coupons. And I'm perfectly fine with doing that because I know the store will get reimbursed for them. It's not like I'm trying to use a Persil coupon on Gain Flanks. So I'm okay with that. So I used two paper coupons off of the Purcell. I had a digital coupon off of the Gain Flings and a paper coupon off of the Gain Flings for a dollar. Plus I used my two off eight Gain Fling CRT. Had a $2 digital coupon off of the Tide Pods and I used my three off 15 Laundry CRT. So I was left to pay $13.70. I did get back a $5 extra buck making that a final cost of $8.70. So this is one of the reasons why I lost some extra bucks here. $8.70 for five laundry products or just $1.70 for each. I think that's pretty good to get per sale for $1.74, even the Tide Pods and the Game Flings for $1.74. I was pretty dang excited about that. All right, then I did the You by Kotex. I ran into a teeny little snag on this one. Oh, I picked up these little fruit bites. Everybody's getting, they just have two in them. Everybody's getting an instant coupon this week. They cost 49 cents. The coupon takes 49 cents off, makes them a freebie. All right, so You by Kotex is on promotion. Spend 15, earn a $5 extra buck. And they are buy one, get one half price. I tried to pick up two of these because this is actually something we use in the house. Um, and my paper coupons for You by Kotex did not want to work for that. They work just fine for all of the rest of them. So what I ended up doing was swapping because I had grabbed two of those, one of these, and one of these. Um, so I ended up swapping out the teen ones for just the liners because my digital coupon off of Kotex did work for that one. So those four products right there totaled me with the buy one, get one half off $16.66. I used three $2 paper coupons and a $2 digital coupon, so $8 off. I had a $2 off 16 on tampons, pads, and liner CRT. I had a two off of You Buy Kotex Teen CRT and I had a two off feminine cleansing wipes CRT that attached to these. So just beware, I actually also have a one off feminine cleansing wipe CRT that does not attach, but the $2 does. So I was left to pay $2.66 for all four of those boxes, got back a $5 extra buck, making that a $2.34 moneymaker. I think that's pretty fantastic. We don't often get feminine care products as a moneymaker. So I was super excited about that. All right, I picked up the Pantene. They are on two different promotions. There is one that is part of the buy four products are in $7. This one is three for 15. And when you buy three, you get a $5 extra buck. And I already told you that like I don't have any of these in my stockpile. I bought three two weeks ago. That's all I have. So I picked up some more stylers. So I used my $3 off um, paper coupon out of our June PNG, and I used a four off of 14 Pantene CRT, and you probably already know what happened. My $3 digital also came off because whenever there is a digital coupon that is off of multiples and a paper coupon, they glitch together. I don't care what the product is they glitch together. The only reason it didn't happen on my skin to mint is because the um, six off of two paper coupon or digital coupon is only attaching to the vanilla. So technically, if you bought the vanilla and used the paper coupon, the digital would come off as well. So just a heads up on that. So I was left to pay $5 for these Pantene and I got back a $5 extra buck, making them totally free. Plus, they're tracking towards beauty. Um, the poise. Oh, my gosh. Last time I picked up the poise, I don't know, whenever we had the promotion, seems like it was five weeks ago. 
I am flooded with Poise um, CRTs now. So I picked up two boxes that totaled me $11.98. I used the $3 digital coupon that CVS gave us, and I used a $3 paper coupon. Plus, I used a, I got a CRT for $3 off Poise, then I had another CRT for $3 off when you buy two Poise. I paid zero cash out of pocket, like my subtotal was zero for those two, and I got back a $2 extra buck, so making those two a $2 money maker. All right, this is an unadvertised deal this week on the Nivea Body Wash. It is on sale, the women's two for six, or not two for six, it's on sale for $6. And when you buy one, you get a $2 extra buck. And then the Suave is included with, I can't remember, maybe the Dove Men. That deal is buy two, earn a $2 extra buck. So I combined both of them together. So the Nivea was six, the Suave are buy one, get one half price. So all three of those totaled me $9.43. I used a $2 off six body wash CRT. So I was left to pay $7.43. I got back two from Nivea and two from Suave. That brings me down to $3.43. And then Ibotta also has 50 cent offers on each one of the Suave. So giving me back a dollar. So I was left to pay $2.43 or just 81 cents each, which that's pretty dang awesome for Nivea. And I will donate the Suave. Plus Fetch Rewards. I haven't even scanned my receipt yet, but by the time I edit this, I will. I'll pop it up on the screen. I'm actually going to get points back for Suave. I'll get points back for Poise. And I will get points back for You by Kotex. I would get points back even if I didn't have those. But those are all partnering brands with Fetch. So if you're not using Fetch, you need to be. It is the easiest app. Yes, I am in love with Swagbucks because the rebates are so high. But Fetch is just the easiest, like super easy rebate app. And I have earned a decent amount of cash back. It does go to a gift card versus Ibotta or Swagbucks where you can actually cash out to your PayPal. There will be a tutorial linked in the description box of how to use Ibotta and how to use Fetch Rewards along with my codes if you're not already using them and you want to sign up. If not, no big deal. But super excited that I got all of those different brands that are going to give me back points plus an Ibotta rebate. All right, the Physician's Formula, super easy, newbie-friendly deal. Everybody is getting a $4 instant coupon. These were $9.99. The deal is when you spend $10, you earn a $5 extra buck. My store does follow the 98% rule, meaning I would only have to spend $9.80 to earn my extra buck back. So $9.99 minus the $4 instant coupon. I paid $5.99, got back a $5 extra buck, final cost of 99 cents, but that is tracking towards beauty. So that actually ended up being free for me. Um, and I think that is it for transaction one. All right, let's take a look at my receipt and then we're gonna get on to some super exciting stuff. I mean, all of this was exciting, but we're gonna get on to some even more exciting stuff. I can't wait to show you. All right, there's my three Pantene, three for 15, my Skin to Mint that are two for 12, the Nivea body wash on sale for six. There are my Gain Flings, my Tide Pods, my two Persil. Um, my Chic Intuition razor on sale for $8.99. There are my two poise pads. And then, um, oh, the little 49 cent one a day um, gummies. And then all my UI Kotex, it is buy one, get one half price. My Suave body wash, buy one, get one half price. And then the Physicians Formula butter lips for $9.99. All right, so paper coupons I used. Three off the Poise, three off the Pantene, two off the U by Kotex. I used three of them. Um, one off the Gain Flings, two off the Purcell, two off the Purcell, four off of the Intuition, six off of the two Skin to Mint. Then my $3 digital for Poise came off. My $3 digital for Pantene came off, even though I used a paper coupon. There's my $2 digital for Kotex my $2 digital for Tide Pods, my dollar digital for Game, my five off 20 Shave Needs, my four off two Skin to Mint, my four off 14 Pantene, my four off Physicians Formula Instant Coupon. There is my 
Oh, look at that. $2 off poise, but it gave me three. I didn't even notice that, huh? Three off 15 laundry. There is my three off poise. So I had, hmm, I think it did say three though. Um, two off you by Kotex, the teen ones, two off six body wash, two, there is, it says feminine care, but the actual CRT reads feminine cleansing wipes, but it must be coded wrong. So it is attaching to pads and liners. Two off eight gain flings, two off 16 feminine care CRT, and then my 49 cent fruit bites. Um, I used, hang on, let me, I wrote it down. I used $37 in extra bucks to pay for this. This was a $5 extra buck that lowered itself down. My subtotal was zero. So I paid zero cash out of pocket. Um, I got back a $5 extra buck from Schick. $2 from Dove Axe Degree and Suave. That's what's included. Um, $5 from You Buy Kotex. $5 from Pantene Hair Care. $5 for the household deal, includes Scott, Tide, Gain, all that good stuff. Um, $2 for the um, poise. So I don't know why some of them don't say it. And $2 for the Nivea body wash. Plus I got back $5 from the physician's formula that I rolled into another transaction. All right, transaction number two. I did have three transactions today and I did that. I actually had the extra bucks to pay for it all in one, but I did it for a couple of reasons and I will tell you why. I'm just trying to find the paper that I wrote my next transaction on. All right, P&G products. When you have paper coupons for P&G products, they start attaching to anything they want to attach to. And I was afraid because I was using a paper coupon off of Gain and I was using a paper coupon off of Pantene and then I wanted to buy some Oral-B. I was afraid one of my coupons would attach to the wrong product because that's happened to me so many times that I just decided to split my transaction up. All right, this is what I did and I was so dang excited about this and it was a cost and I don't even care. This is part of the buy four, earn a $7 extra buck. I decided to pick up the Oral-B battery powered toothbrushes. I don't have a dang one battery powered toothbrush in my stockpile at all. So I just went with four of them. They are buy one, get one half price. They are priced at $8.69 in my store. And so what I paid was $26.08 for all four of those. I used four $2 off Oral-B battery powered toothbrush um, coupons. I had a three off 15 oral care CRT off of to toothpaste, mouthwash, toothbrushes. And I had a two off eight Crest oral B, um, mouthwash, some, scope mouthwash, something like that. So I used all of those on that. That brought my total down to 1306. I got back a $7 extra buck. So that makes the final cost $6 and six cents or just a dollar 51 each. And I think that's pretty fantastic considering it was something I really wanted to get, something I don't have any of. And, you know, they start off at almost $9 each. So there is definitely a way you can do the buy four, earn a $7 extra buck to make it a money maker. This is what I went with. So I was so dang excited about that. So then I picked up some candy because I don't know. We think these little mini M&Ms are better than regular size. They just taste different. I love them. So I got those. They're on sale two for six, plus the Sour Punch straws are $1.99. So all three of those totaled me $7.99. I used a dollar digital coupon off the Sour Punch straws, and I had a two off seven candy CRT. So I was left to pay $4.99 or $1.66 each. So another thing that was not giving me back anything but something that I wanted. Um, and then let's talk about this. I was so dang excited about this. OMG, I'm gonna pause the video one second. I wanna get the CRT to show you. 
All right, I actually forgot to add this into my totals as well. So actually all of my products were $240, almost $241. All right, I got this two weeks in a row. If you have this CRT, five off of Chic Hydro Soap, perfect finishing trimmer, eight in one. I got one last week, I got one this week. I was like, what the heck is this? So I looked it up on the website. This is what it is. It's a pretty cool little grooming kit. It cost in my store $20.49. I had two of those $5 off Chic per Hydro Silk Perfect Finishing Trimmer 8-in-1 grooming kits. That took off 10 The $4 digital coupon off of the Chic is attaching to this. Plus, I used my 5 off 20 shave needs. Nothing back on this. But I went from $20.49 after all of those CRTs to paying $1.49 for this. And I think it looks pretty dang cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep it and use it. I think this would be a great gift, gift as well. And I got those CRTs on all of my accounts. So I might pick it up again. So if you've gotten that CRT and you're like, what the heck is this? That's what it is. And the digital coupon, manufacturer coupon, attaches to it. So it was such a fantastic deal. I got that for $1.49. I was so dang excited to share that with you guys. And then the last thing I picked up in this transaction, I was really excited about this too. The Hallmark cards are on sale, or they're not on sale. They are buy three, earn a $3 extra buck. I got a CRT last week for $5 off when you buy five Hallmark cards. I got the same one this week. And remember, we've talked about this several times. You can use the same CRT on the same product as long as they have different um, sequence numbers. So I don't have any super cheap cards in my store. I actually found one card that was $2. The rest of these were $2.99, but oh my gosh, look at this card. Today is a good day to have a good day. Uh, you know I grabbed two of these because I love this saying, oh my gosh, too much of a good thing is just right. I was so excited. So I got five cards here. That totaled me $13.96. I used $10 in CRTs. That left me to pay $3.96. I got back a $3 extra buck. So my final cost is 96 cents for five cards or just 19 cents each. I was so excited about that. If you caught my Dollar General haul where I did pick up some super cheap cards, I just don't like paying for cards, but I will pay 96 cents for five cards every day. Like I'm okay with that. I hate paying $5.69 for one card. It just seems like such a waste to me. So let's take a look at my receipt for this one. And then we have one more quick transaction to go through. All right. So there is my M&M's two for six. My, um, all of my Oral-B battery toothbrushes, buy one, get one, half price. And then all of my cards. And that's it. Yeah, that was it. So what I used was cube, three coupons, three paper coupons off the Oral-B and a digital coupon. There is my $4 digital shit coupon coming off of that um, grooming kit and my dollar sour punch um, straw digital coupon. I used the five off five Hallmark, the five off Chic Hydro, the five off Chic Hydro, the five off five Hallmark, the five off 20 shave needs, the three off 15 oral care, the two off seven and the two off eight crest scope or oral B. Now I will tell you the two off eight crest scope or oral B it wouldn't attach on the app for this. And normally I won't use a CRT if it doesn't attach because I hate it when they have to override it. I just don't like doing that to them. But I thought they were gonna be $8.99 and they were actually a little bit cheaper in my store than I thought. And I had planned on using a three off 15 and a three off 12 oral care CRT. But because they were $8.69, it dropped me too far below that I couldn't use that three off 12. So I thought, I'm going to try the two off eight. And the cashier did let me know that it wasn't attaching, it wasn't going through, and she did have to override it. But this store is so fantastic. And I was hoping she would override it because it obviously matches. It literally says Oral B on it. So she did go ahead and push that through. But if you have that CRT, just know it is not attaching to those. 
I used my extra bucks and I had a subtotal of 50 cents on this one. So I used $23 in extra bucks to pay for all of this stuff. And I got back my $7 extra buck for the toothbrushes, which is the buy four, um, earn seven. And then I got back the $3 from the Hallmark card. So I only got $10 back and I used 23. So that was a big loss for me. All right, but I don't care because I was so excited about that and so excited about that. Last transaction, super simple. I had to actually go to another store, which I was doing anyways, because my store does not carry the Oral-B rinse. Um, so all I picked up in this one was the L'Oreal because I had good CRTs and the Oral-B rinse. So pretty simple transaction. The Sorry, I'm looking at all my notes. I know I'm taking you everywhere here with this camera. Um, where did I write it down? All right, the L'Oreal totaled me $30.08 for those two products. I had a $7 Age Perfect CRT, and I had two five off of 15 L'Oreal facial care CRTs. Um, and I could use both because I was spending $30. So I was left to pay $13.08, and I got back a $10 extra buck, plus I'll get back another $3 beauty buck. Um, so that's the only reason I picked those up because they were totally free. The Oral-B, <clears throat> I used a $3 paper coupon. This is $11.49 in my store. I used a $3 paper coupon on that. And I used, I had two $4 off Oral-B rent CRTs. I used two CRTs on one product and a one off of five um, mouthwash CRT which actually lowered itself down to make this just completely free. And I got a $3 extra buck back. So that was a $3 moneymaker. Plus, I believe this is still on Ibotta. I'm going to check. I will pop it up on the screen when I edit the video. Um, if I get the $2 back, that'll make it a $5 moneymaker. So there is my L'Oreal and then um, my Oral-B. Only paper coupon I used was the Oral-B. I use the 7 off Age Perfect, the 5 off 15 L'Oreal, the 5 off 15 L'Oreal, the 4 off Oral-B Rinse, 4 off Oral-B Rinse, and 1 off 5 Mouthwash lowered itself down to 49 cents. I gave <clears throat> $12 in extra bucks. I had a subtotal of $1.08. Of course, I used my gift cards. I didn't pay anything cash out of pocket, and I got back $13. So I got back exactly what I paid on this but it's all tracking towards beauty. All right, so let's go over the final numbers. How much did I lose in extra bucks? OMG. All right, I started today with $67 in extra bucks. And I am now ending with all the extra bucks I showed you at $49. Oh my gosh, a loss of $18 in extra bucks. That's kind of a lot. But I spent just about $60 in beauty, plus I was already tracking towards beauty. So I will get another $6 beauty buck back within 48 hours. So that's going to leave me ending at $55 in extra bucks. So just a loss of $12 in extra bucks. No loss of even any cash out of my pocket. And considering I got five laundry products... I got these, which I was so excited to get. I got some candy that gave back nothing. Hardly paid anything for that, but I did pay $1.49. I'm so dang pleased with this. So a loss of 12, and I ended up getting, I didn't add it up. I think I ended up getting like 22 items on one, 13 on one, and three on the other. It, it works out to be a final cost of 46 cents an item which I think is pretty dang fantastic. I can't get per sale for 46 cents. And again, I didn't actually pay any cash out of my pocket. It was all CVS's money and swag bucks or rebates. So I am super duper pleased. I would love to hear what you are picking up this week from CVS. I love it when you guys share your deals with me. Drop it down in the comments. And thank you again to Nowadays 515 for emailing me and letting me know about the huge swag bucks rebate on those car kits. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. So I could share that with all of you in case that is something you need or want to pick up for a great Father's Day gift or even a Christmas gift. I know we're super early, but if you can pick one up for $2.50, oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right. That's what I got for you today. I will see you tomorrow with our week four of the newbie. Um, CVS 
haul and we're going to go over a couple of things in that video and we'll see how we did on our week four. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon. Bye!